Hey guys, what is up? It's Jamie, Farnsworthy Venting. If you haven't already, make sure you grab that subscribe button down below, click the like button, and make sure you leave me a comment. I wouldn't even mind if you shared the video. Keep in mind guys that this channel is supported by Patreon, the links in the description below. Today we're going to be going out on a collection, and uh, we're going to really break things down. We're going to get rid of the all the cover chart, you know, like uh, the gas, we're going to get rid of everything and break down what money is actually mine at the end of the day so you guys can really see what everything turns into i might get into some extra stuff just for you guys come on let's check it out hey guys so we're coming into the laundromat location we're gonna check out the soda and snack machine looks like nothing has really sold completely out yet although i am actually selling gum i didn't think that i would sell that stuff but it is actually selling that's good you guys can see I switched over to Coke products in here, and I'm really excited to see how the water did. So, let's open everything up. Alright, so I completely filled this on Monday. It looks like we have sold one, two, three Mellow Yellows. One Coke, because I didn't have the top one up there. Haven't sold any Diet Coke. sold two waters and two purple drinks. I'm glad that these are selling all right. I'm just gonna close this guy back up. I'm gonna write that down so I know how much is gone. Come over here. I'm going to pull these shelves just so I can see how much of everything I've sold. Sales are starting to do a little bit better now that I've modified the pricing. People are starting to buy stuff now. We're going to come over here into this guy. Oh, we have way more dollars than we normally have here. Good. Alright guys, so this machine had $49.85 in it. We're gonna move on to the next stop. So I haven't been doing a whole lot of recording of the honor boxes, but we're still going through. Um, I've actually been stopping at every location asking if they want a soda machine. If they don't want one, they're going on a list of uh, my route that I'm gonna sell. Um, to my surprise, we just lost um, Jiffy Lube. Of course, my competitor also lost Jiffy Lube because we were both placed there. But we lost them because Jiffy Lube doesn't, uh, just turned into one of those places that doesn't support these anymore. So they're pulling away from people making a living and pulling away from charities. Jiffy Lube, good job. All right guys, we're gonna move on to the next one. All right guys, so we're at Tire Warehouse. We need to fill the Mountain Dew, the Coke. All right, and collection time. We're probably going to be down a little bit because the machine was broken. That's what we got for the collection. And maybe a couple dollars in there. Alright, so I want you guys to look at this and tell me what I can do to fix this. These keep popping back. 
I know how to fix this. I'm going to fix that right now. But we got stuff like this happening. The fruit keeps falling out. So I think I need new coils, but let me know what you guys think. All right, so you can see we got one coil down. They're all down, right? And then you got this one that's upside down. What we're going to do is there are some tabs in here we're going to pop in, then we're just going to flip the whole coil upside down. And bam, problem solved. You can see it's still clipped in back there. We're good to go. Alright, so you can see this mess. I gotta find a solution for this because these are really good sellers. I think the coil is just too big. I think we might have to play flip flop with some of the coils here. Because, yeah, this coil is just way too big. Maybe if I swap the ramen out with that, it'll work a little bit better. But yeah, you can see these are full. They're my best sellers. One of my best sellers. We got Annie's Cheddar Bunny I seem to be doing pretty good. This is only seven days, so. Uh, also, there are Bunny Grams and the uh, Beef Ramen does good. Jeez, I gotta sell, I gotta get some Swedish fish. Those are almost gone. The, uh, these guys are doing pretty, none of this seems to be selling. Oh, no, one of these sold. But. A lot of the healthier stuff. A lot of the healthier stuff is staying right there. Got almonds. Almonds sell like crazy. A lot of this is probably going to wind up not selling. All right, get everything moved around and looking happy again. Just open this guy up. Hyundai dealership and this one I filled up I think it was Monday completely filled it so you can see it's a lot fuller than it normally is looks like we've made a couple sales uh, these I'm actually trying to sell out of on purpose looks like we're doing alright almost we almost fit a case in here, but we're going to let it be where it's at. Looking good though. Yeah, so we hit 13 locations today and uh, we fixed a couple of machines it was actually a lot of fun but uh, just just take a take a look so suck it in suck it in real quick look at all that money uh, I have no idea how much it is right now because we haven't actually calculated it but we had a couple of really really good spots so I'm pretty stoked about this um, I'm gonna go in the bank I'm gonna deposit this and then I'm gonna take 33% of it and put it in the save the tax account the savings account um, and then the rest of it's just going to stay in the business account for growth. Uh, a lot of people ask me what I do with the money and I'll give you a breakdown when we get home of the 33% and the rest of it, but we have to go get gas. Um, I might even give you a net too. The way I net is, uh, whatever I had to use to go on my run. So today I already had the lollipops, but I had to use five bags of, uh, the mixed cho assorted chocolates. So I have to buy five bags of assorted chocolates to replace what I used. As far as the soda and stuff goes, for right now, I'm not, I thought I was gonna keep inventory, but I don't think I'm going to until I get a little bit bigger. All right guys, let's do this. Hey guys, we're headed over to BJ's. Gonna get some uh, chocolate for the rest of the run.
Alright guys, so let's look at this real quick. I used five bags, so I had to replace them. Uh, zoom. Well, I need a better camera, but this one says uh, $59.95. So that's how much it cost me in product to make the run today. I only ever replace product when I've used it. So that's just what it cost to make the run today, and we'll take that off of our after-tax income. Hey guys, we're back. So I just got back to the house, and I wanted to go over uh, some of the like deep truths about things. Now, uh, I had someone comment, actually it was Matt Vlogs, it was my homie over Matt Vlogs. Um, I had him comment a while back to show the net of everything. So today, our gross pull was $251.20. 33% of that needs to go towards taxes. That was $82.15. So that puts us at 169.05 right and we had gas costs throughout the day that was a pretty long run well miles wise it was a long run it was twenty dollars worth of fuel so after gas we're at 149.05 now after that I had to buy product now all the pro I used five bags of chocolate so that was really our product that puts us at eighty nine dollars and ten cents after everything said and done so, I know a lot of people like to point at millionaires and be like, <laughs> uh, how do you get rich, da 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 da, well, you got to make those numbers really, really big to take anything home. But, honestly, the uh, soda machines usually profit the most. Uh, I used to think that the margins were the best on the boxes, but a lot of the time, truth be told, after you calculate in theft, your margin's not quite as good as you thought it was. But if you weed your accounts out, like my theft is going down and down and down because I'm weeding out all the accounts that are not so great. And I might be selling the charity box portion of my route. But uh, that's really it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the, I like moved into more interactions with the soda machines because that's all you're going to be seeing in the near future. I'm trying to get a camera on me more of the time as I'm doing stuff, so you guys can see everything that happens. But uh, guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, keep in mind that this channel is funded by Patreon. I really do appreciate the Patreons I have. So head right over there, links in the description below. It's also the first comment that's been pinned. All right guys, thank you so much. This is Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending, out. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace. Some kind of rage.